Here we go, the 38th country, Romalia. So after stayed a few days in Kizomba, which was the border village between Hungary and Romania, I continue my journey and the lady who accommodated me in Kizomba gave me a little angel. She told me, oh, perhaps I don't know their God, but she wished me a safe journey, um, guarding and blessed by the little angel accompanied me. So um, then I continue to hitchhike um, from Kinsomba. You know, it's just a village, just like one road. Um, so I just hitchhike, and an elderly German and gentleman stopped and offered me a few distance. And when we came to an intersection, he needed to change to another direction. So I just get off and thank him. After that, I continued to hitchhike. They came to a a truck. So and then I I hitchhiked, and then the driver, without asking, he already helping me to take my backpack on, and then he doesn't speak much English, but uh, with the body language and uh, uh, Google Translate, uh, um, he's going to the border direction. And he often runs between Italy to Romania. So the driver is from Romania. His name is Masses. So and after communicate more, and then I find out he is going to Bucharest as well. So he is willing to offer me a lift to, to the capital. Uh, after we crossed the border, um, we first went to Masses's truck company's headquarter near the bottom border town and he introduced uh, me to his boss his boss uh, was very funny he was joking on me like uh, wow you are so brave what if masses is not a good guy and i was joking um i think he's uh, kind enough to offer me a lift uh, what if i'm not a good human being and the boss laughed and uh, he think i'm very nice person and then he told Masses to take care of me uh, on the way from um, the small town to the capital. So um, we, after we checked uh, for the safety of, of the truck, um, at small petrol and uh, some, some other stuff, we continued to make our way to the capital. Um, during the way, uh, sometimes we stop for food. So I really want to treat Masses a meal to show my appreciation that uh, he picked me up. So I tried to pay for our meal and uh, Masses noticed that and then he talked to the uh, restaurant staff in some local language, I, which I understand nothing. And then while I was trying to pay, I was being told by the staff that uh, oh, I don't know where you're from, but in Romania there's no way for lady to pay. Well, the first time I felt, and after that, uh, it's another meal time. I tried to, I still tried to pay for masses, and then during himself away to the bathroom, I went to the uh, payment counter, and then I tried to pay, but I was being told, okay, masses paid already. And then I found out Masses was showing a fun, funny face to me because he knew that time I will try to pay for him. So I failed again. Before I thought this kind of a game, it's only played in China, but you know, in Europe as well. So after we entered into Romania, there's like some prostitute stand on the road you know try to hook up with some drivers but when i see this i just like uh, clarify myself i'm not like uh, doing that uh, style and the master uh, says he understand because there's no asian prostitute around this area and then they would never do a thumbs up to stop a vehicle with a big backpack <laughs> and then Masas's truck is very clean, you know, he's very easy going, he allow me to do anything, I feel comfortable. Sometimes I grab a bottle and then sing something Chinese and then 
whenever he saw me, he just like、uh, made a cross、uh, and said Jesus, and he think I'm kind of crazy. And sometimes I also send him a like Chinese opera, try to entertain him a little bit. And and before we arrived at、uh, the capital, it's still got a long distance and it's getting dark and late. So Moses decided to just stop in the middle of nowhere, and he was、uh, exhausted after a whole day driving. And actually, there's a bunk bed、uh, on the track, so the upper one was occupied by some staff. And then before I, I was expecting Moses to offer me the upper bunk, but he didn't. He just asked me to lay down on the sand nowhere bunk. I I don't feel comfortable, so I just、uh, pretend I'm sneaky on the seat, and then by accidentally and. And then he told me I should trust him, but you know, no matter how chill, how is it going during the day, I was. But during the night, I still know that I'm I'm a girl. I can't、uh, behave like a man, you know. Yeah. So, especially when he don't doesn't offer me the upper bunk, I feel more alert and、uh, yeah. And Moses is getting a little bit upset because he. Told me to trust him that he's a, a Christian and blah blah blah. But at that time, I have no idea about, about Christian. So, but after that,、uh, Masas finally fell asleep. I was just、uh, squashed myself by the seat, and then、uh, it was very、uh, cold outside during the winter. So,、uh, inside the truck, Masas turned on the heater. I feel so hot, but I'm scared to、uh, remove any layer of my clothes. And also, I feel like to go to toilet, but but the truck was locked, and I don't feel like to wake、uh, Masses up to get him to open the door for me. So I just hold for my pee. <laughs> so that night was like a little bit、uh, challenge and、uh, since a long night for me. So finally, the morning came, and、um, and then luckily I I have the nothing bad with me、uh, happened, and then we arrived at a place where you can take a shower for the truck drivers. So I checked the ladies'、uh, shower; it's uh, it's uh, okay to lock. So I did a shower as well. And when we arrived, the、uh, Bucharest masses told me if I haven't、uh, figured out where to stay. Uh, I can still allow to、uh, stay on his track for one more night because he's returning back to the headquarters the next day. But I don't feel like to do that anymore because I feel the previous night was already on、um, my limit for trusting people, and then、uh, I don't want to put myself in that kind of situation one more time. So I thanked him, and still he know that I can't trust him for one hundred percent, and then.、Uh, But、uh, he just got me a taxi and then、um, asked the taxi driver to get to get me to where I need to go. So I thanked him and、uh, with a hug and and I truly appreciate for his kindness and his help. Yeah, but it's such a shame I couldn't trust him for one hundred percent. But but I know it's also nice when you trust people, but at the same time it's risky. So. Yeah, it just takes time and experience. So after the first night, I stayed in a hostel, and then second night, I moved to to my host. My host is a local named、uh, Catalin, and he was very kind, and he showed me around with driving, took me out to, for hot chocolate. And the second time, when I visited Bucharest back、uh, again in 2018, and Catalin hosted me again. And that time, I took a a train from Moldova to Bucharest. And after a few days in in Bucharest,、uh, Kathleen drove me to the petrol station next to the highway toward、uh, Bulgaria. Um, he seems a little bit worried about my heat checking alone, and he told me, "You have to be safe." And then he said goodbye to me with a hug. And after that, I continued to hitchhike. It's winter. I was with my gloves, but sometimes I feel, oh, maybe perhaps I should remove my gloves to show my respect to the 
uh, ang 